The movie begins by showing life in the 24th century. In this time, humans have traveled to different planets and one of them is called Latimer Planet. On this planet, there is a young girl named Holly Togram who is being chased by a group of men. She runs into a place called the Bon in an attempt to escape. Meanwhile, another man is put into a pool of water where he is given a tool called Disca. The Disca can store someone's consciousness and memories, and it also serves as an identity card for everyone living in this era. With the Disca, people can switch bodies that are seen as just containers, allowing them to live forever by changing bodies many times. Soon after, the man wakes up with the Disca attached to his body. He looks a bit disoriented and finds himself in a crowded nightclub called the Bond. A club official approaches him and explains that he has been brought back to life by a person named Tanoseda Hideki, who happens to be the leader of the Yakuza syndicate. Meanwhile, Holly manages to enter the bond to hide from the men who are chasing her. She tries to blend into the crowd, but one of the men catches her. Suddenly, a mysterious figure dressed like a ninja appears and kills the two men who captured Holly. Frightened, Holly tries to run away, but the ninja chases after her and tries to kill her. Fortunately, the man who had just been revived comes to her rescue and confronts the ninja. Surprisingly, the ninja chooses to leave them alone. Feeling safe, the man takes Holly to a safer place. Later on, Takeshi and Holly have a holographic meeting with Tana Seda. During the meeting, Holly expresses her anger towards Tana Seda for lying to her. In response, Tana Seda lowers the volume of Holly's voice to have a serious conversation with Takeshi, the man who saved Holly. Tana Seda tells Takeshi that he needs his help to investigate the death of his younger brother, who was the leader of the Yakuza Mizumoto Syndicate. Holly, who is a tattoo expert for the syndicate, can bring Takeshi to the Mizumoto Syndicate's headquarters without arousing suspicion. After explaining everything, the meeting ends. However, shortly after, Holly tries to escape again. During her attempt to escape, Holly is intercepted by Xena, an agent from CTAs, who is also investigating the Mizumoto Syndicate. CTAs is an organization responsible for keeping the planet safe, similar to the police force. Xena asks Holly to come with her, but Takeshi appears and confronts Xena. The situation becomes tense as both Takeshi and Xena draw their weapons, and Xena's team also points their weapons at Takeshi. Suddenly, the ninja who previously attacked Holly returns with a large group of ninjas. They begin to attack Xena's team, killing them one by one. The ninjas then target Holly, forcing Takeshi and Xena to work together to protect her. Fortunately, both Takeshi and Xena have exceptional fighting skills, and they manage to defeat all the ninjas who attacked them. Xena then questions Holly about why the ninjas were after her. Holly reveals that she wants to leave the Mizumoto Syndicate and that the ninjas were hired by someone named Shinji. Holly adds that Shinji wants to overthrow the current leader of Mizumoto Syndicate, but Shinji himself is a potential boss in the Syndicate. After hearing Holly's confession, Xena plans to take Holly to the Mizumoto Syndicate headquarters for further investigation. However, Takeshi intervenes and things become heated once again. Eventually, they decide to work together since they share the same goal of infiltrating the Mizumoto Syndicate headquarters. Shortly after, they arrived at the headquarters of the Mizumoto Syndicate, disguised as a fancy hotel. As they walked into the lobby, they were greeted by a hologram AI named Ogai, who looked like an old man. While they were chatting with Ogai, Shinji suddenly appeared. Takeshi introduced himself as Ken and then one of Shinji's men pointed a gun at him, thinking he was being disrespectful to their new boss candidate. The situation quickly escalated, and things got heated. Holly stepped in to calm the situation, explaining to Shinji that Takeshi, also known as Ken, and Xena were her bodyguards who saved her from ninja assassins. Shinji ordered his men to lower their weapons, but one man still pointed his gun at Takeshi. In a surprising turn of events, Shinji cut off the man's little finger as an apology and gave it to Takeshi who refused the gesture. This made Shinji laugh, and he returned the finger to its owner, instructing him to bury it properly. Shinji then ordered Ogai to provide the best room for Takeshi and Zena. Ogai led Takeshi and Zena to the best room in the hotel, where they were treated to top-notch service. Later, Holly took Takeshi to meet Genjo, the third leader of the Mizumoto Syndicate, where he also ran into Shinji, 
who was resting with Genjo. While Holly was tattooing Shinji's body, Takeshi chatted with Genjo and got to know him better. Genjo shared some background information about the Mizumoto Syndicate, explaining that Tano Seda was the founder's son and his younger brothers were the second leaders. He then asked Takeshi why he had come to their headquarters. Takeshi, however, didn't give a direct answer and instead hinted at a possible coup within the Syndicate, offering to help. But Shinji, who overheard the conversation, immediately denied that such a thing was possible within their syndicate. Genjo then revealed that it was a tradition in their syndicate for the leader to die during the change of leadership ceremony, and their late leader had passed away and could not be brought back to life. This was done to prevent any leader from ruling forever and staging a coup d'etat. During the transfer of power to Genjo, Tano Seda's younger brother also died, which made Tano Seda suspicious. He asked Takeshi to infiltrate the Mizumoto Syndicate and investigate his brother's death. Meanwhile, Xena started her own investigation by seducing one of the security officers at the Mizumoto headquarters. However, just as they were about to kiss, Xena suddenly killed him and took his security access card. At the same time, Takeshi contacted Tano Seda to update him on the information he had gathered, including the boss changes ritual that Genjo had mentioned earlier. Tano Seda began to suspect that Holly had a crucial role in the ritual and asked Takeshi to protect her before the ceremony, which was set to take place in two days. Elsewhere, Holly saw a holographic memory of a murdered couple who turned out to be her own parents. They were killed when she was just a child, but their disca, a device that can bring them back to life, was still intact. Unfortunately, the killer had the disca, and Holly couldn't find it on her own. Desperate to bring her parents back, Holly joined Mizumoto's syndicate, hoping they could help her find the disca. But even with their help, she still couldn't locate it. Holly felt frustrated and sad, unable to move on from her past. Takeshi came to see Holly and advised her to erase the memory. He told her not to hold on to the past, but Holly couldn't forget her parents and continued to cry. Later on, Shinji meets with his ninja assassin team, and as Holly had suspected, one of them was working for him. Shinji was furious that they failed to kill Holly, and he gave them two days to succeed. Meanwhile, Xena used an access card she had taken from a man she killed to enter the main server room at Mizumoto's headquarters. While there, she discovered something that upset her about Holly and her parents. She went to see Holly but was surprised to find Yakuza members guarding her place. On Genjo's orders, the Yakuza took Holly and the others to see him after discovering that a security officer had been killed. They realized that the officer was the same man Xena had killed before. As they were en route, Shinji's team of ninja assassins reappeared, this time wearing steel armor that made them impervious to the Yakuza's bullets. The Yakuza were no match for the ninjas, and they were quickly killed off one by one. <laughs> Takeshi and Xena were overwhelmed, and they fled to the lobby to seek help from Ogai. Seeing Holly in danger, Ogai activated his weapon system and easily destroyed the ninja's armor until there was nothing left. After the attack, Takeshi asked Holly about the reason why the ninjas wanted to kill her so badly. Holly finally confessed that she wanted to kill the leader of the Mizumoto Syndicate. She revealed that the previous tattooist, Margit, had developed a technology that allowed her to plant a special program on the tattoos of every leader of the syndicate. This program could destroy the disca inside the body of the current leader, which was then passed down to the next candidate leader. The ritual continued in this way, with the program tattoo being passed on to each successive leader. Holly's revelation made Shinji determined to kill her to prevent his own death and ensure his eternal rule as the leader of the Mizumoto Syndicate. Holly also revealed that she was the only one who could activate the program on the tattoo. Later on, Xena reported all the information about the coup to the CTAs. However, they surprised her by asking her to step down and return to the base. They promised to blackmail Shinji if he came to power and used the information they had received from Xena to threaten him. They also instructed Xena to immediately kill Holly, who had become their informant. Xena was shocked and speechless when she received unexpected instructions from the CTAs. Later on, she went to where Holly was staying and was surprised to hear Takeshi singing a song that reminded her of her past with her elder brothers. As she listened to the song, Xena suddenly realized that Takeshi was her long-lost elder brother who had been separated from her for hundreds of years. However, Takeshi was still unaware of their relationship. Xena was left to grapple with this revelation on her own, unsure of how to approach Takeshi with this knowledge. Takeshi then contacted Tano Seda to explain the situation regarding the tattoo that could destroy the disca of every leader of the Mizumoto Syndicate. 
However, Tana Seda was unsure if the current leader, Genjo, would be willing to go through with the ritual that could potentially end his life. Takeshi also shared the same doubts and was unsure if anyone in the Mizumoto Syndicate would be willing to sacrifice their life for a candidate leader. Tana Seda had a sudden realization that made her both angry and amused. She immediately asked Takeshi to investigate something before the ritual began. After their virtual meeting, Takeshi set off to investigate as instructed by Tana Seda. Before leaving, he entrusted Zena with taking care of Holly while he was away. However, Zena was worried about Takeshi's safety and warned him that his actions could potentially damage his disca. Despite her concerns, Takeshi remained resolute in his decision to investigate, and Zena reluctantly gave him an access card to help him covertly. Takeshi managed to sneak into a secret room and found two suspicious capsules, along with some crucial information that satisfied him. The next day, the ceremony to change the leader of the Mizumoto Syndicate was imminent. Takeshi, Zena, and Holly were speaking with Ogai when a sudden explosion rocked the hotel lobby. In the chaos, Holly vanished, leaving Takeshi and Zena panicked and desperate to find her. Meanwhile, Shinji became determined to eliminate Zena and Takeshi for thwarting his plan to harm Holly. He ordered his team of ninja assassins to take care of them. However, just as the assassins departed, an unexpected visitor arrived. It was Genjo, who brought with him an even more shocking surprise. Holly was with him. Before Shinji could react, Holly drugged him, rendering him unconscious. As Takeshi and Zena try to protect Holly, they find themselves surrounded by Shinji's team of ninja assassins. A fierce battle ensues. Meanwhile, the ritual to change the leader of the Mizumoto Syndicate has already commenced, attended virtually by leaders of various Yakuza syndicates. Genjo is present, wearing a mask. However, something strange happens to him as his tattoo starts glowing and damaging his disca. To everyone's horror, Genjo is killed right in front of the guests. Shinji seizes the opportunity to take Genjo's mask and declare himself as the new leader of the Mizumoto Syndicate. But just as he is about to make his speech, he is interrupted by a man in the audience who applauds. It is none other than Tano Seda, who surprisingly addresses Shinji as his father. Before Genjo kidnapped Shinji, he had already destroyed Shinji's disca and possessed his body with Holly's help. Tano Seda was aware of Genjo's actions and was confident that Shinji had suffered the same fate. This meant that the Mizumoto Syndicate was being led by the same person repeatedly, Tano Seda's father, who was also the founder of the Syndicate. When Shinji learned the truth from Tana Seda, he realized that he could not avoid his fate. He asked Holly to perfect his tattoo, but Holly used this opportunity to activate Deska's destructive program. Unfortunately, Shinji was quick to catch on and retaliated by attacking Holly. Holly is frustrated with Shinji and refuses to perfect his tattoo, demanding instead to have her parents Deska. Zena had revealed to Holly that her parents Deska was actually at the Mizumoto Syndicate headquarters. Shinji quickly retrieves the Deska, but in a fit of rage, he destroys it right in front of Holly. This breaks Holly's heart as she realizes that her parents will never come back to life. She can only cry at the sight of the broken disca. Not long after, Takeshi and Zena joined Mizumoto's syndicate members at a ritual. Takeshi revealed that someone else had taken over Shinji's body. This revelation left the syndicate members feeling betrayed and angry. Desperate to escape his middle position, Shinji attempted to flee the ritual altar, prompting the syndicate members to give chase. However, Shinji suddenly reappeared in powerful steel armor, quickly defeating each member of his own syndicate one by one. Despite Takeshi and Zena's valiant attempts to fight back, they were no match for Shinji's newfound strength. As the situation grew dire, Holly tearfully implored Ogai for help. Unfortunately, Ogai was unable to aid Takeshi and Zena due to his loyalty to the new leader of Mizumoto's syndicate, leaving the two to face Shinji alone. Suddenly, Tana Seda appeared at the scene and informed Ogai that he had sent important data to his server. Upon examining the data, Ogai discovered that the new leader of Mizumoto Syndicate was actually inhabiting Shinji's body, while someone else was controlling the disca within Shinji's body. Armed with this knowledge, Ogai refused to obey Shinji and switched his support to Holly. Ogai immediately activated his weapon system and launched an attack on Shinji using his drone weapon. Unfortunately, the attack did not have much of an impact on Shinji, who remained as powerful as ever in his steel armor. In a moment of desperation, Zena called out to Takeshi, referring to him as her brother. 
This unexpected display of affection inspired Takeshi to remember the memories of his past with his own younger sister, who used to call him by the same name. Moved by this memory, Takeshi immediately sprang back to his feet and lunged at Shinji with Xena's knife. The attack succeeded in damaging and detaching the steel armor from Shinji's body. Fueled by anger, Takeshi fought fiercely against Shinji in a battle of wills and strength. Without his steel armor, Shinji was no match for Takeshi's strength and fighting ability, which had been fueled by anger. Helplessly, Shinji was beaten down by Takeshi's brutal attacks. Finally, unable to move, Shinji was approached by Holly, who activated the Diska destroying program on his body in a fit of rage. When the program took effect, the Diska within Shinji's body disintegrated, leaving Shinji dying on the ground. Despite his desperate pleas for help, even from his son Tanoseda, there was no saving him. Fed up with his father's actions, Tanoseda ended his life with a final, decisive shot to the head. Sometime later, Takeshi, Zena, and Holly prepared to part ways. Zena revealed her plan to return to the CTA's headquarters and file a false report claiming that she had successfully eliminated Holly. Xena did this intentionally so that Holly could live quietly and peacefully without fear of being hunted down. After bidding farewell to Holly, Xena left without saying a word to Takeshi. The film ended with Takeshi returning to meet with Tanoseda to receive his next mission. The future was uncertain, but Takeshi knew that he was ready for whatever challenges lay ahead. The moral of the film is about the dangers of unchecked technological advancement, and how it can be used to fuel human greed and ambition, leading to disastrous consequences. It also highlights the importance of ethical considerations and the need for humans to be responsible in their use of technology.